I just thought I found a way to, to fit in. You'll never fit in! Never fit in! Never fit in! Never fit in! Christmas has always been my favorite holiday. All of the colorful lights decorating houses, the sweet delicious foods that you can only find in stores during this time, how beautiful and amazing malls look while shopping, tacky Christmas sweaters being worn by usually uniform cashiers, and the relief they feel because they don't have to wear the awful uniform for a whole month, scraping ice off of your car at 5am in the morning and having to wake up an extra 10 minutes early to let your car warm up or else your fingers will freeze in the minus 30 degrees Celsius weather. Being wrapped up in a warm blanket with hot chocolate, full to the brim with marshmallows while watching classic festive movies, it's all so good and I can't get enough of it! One of my favorites has to be the claymation classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and you already know where this is going, don't you? But hey, this is Christmas. There's no room for being cynical with all this holly jolly cheer in the air. Let's give this game the benefit of the doubt here. I'm sure it's not just a bunch of mini-games replayed over and over again just in different settings. There's no possible way! We have four fantastic options after the game loads up. Story time with Sam the Snowman, which is the bulk of this amazing piece of gaming art. Mini games where you can play some of the super fun, totally not lame and boring at all mini games that spice up story time. Meet the cast, a super fun and in no way super useless feature that they added just to make the main menu more uniform. Interactive screen where you can click on your favorite characters to learn all about them just in case you forgot despite probably knowing all the characters if you willingly bought this wonderful game. And let's not forget my favorite game mode, Options, where I can make sure the super amazing, definitely not graining MIDI version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that plays repeatedly throughout the game is turned on so I can continue to listen to it restart from the beginning every time a new scene loads. You can also create a profile so that they refer to you by name and story time, but I didn't know that because I guess the game just forgot to mention it. But that's okay because this game is loaded with fun, so forgetting to mention the save feature of this game is forgivable. But enough about that, we have the meat of the game to get to. Story time also has four options for you, but unlike the main menu, you have to unlock each story by playing the one prior to it. The first story tells the tale of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a retelling of the classic movie with just the best looking art I've ever seen, and the non-existent animation really helps you focus on reading the story. What's that? Why not just watch the movie? Don't be ridiculous, movies make you go blind! Reading about it on a DS is clearly the only way to experience this holiday favorite. I won't spoil too much for you guys on this story because you probably haven't heard about it before and you really need to experience it for yourself, but let's talk about the best part about this cult classic of a video game. The games that you get to play during the story. These make the story so much more amazing and they're totally not meaningless or random. The fact that this game isn't up there with Chrono Trigger and Earthbound in terms of incredible story and well-crafted unique gameplay is super shocking to me. All of the games have clearly had a lot of thought put into them, and none of them seem out of place or time consuming at all. Every time I got to play one of these, I was overjoyed. What wondrous gameplay could I be blessed with witnessing this time? The first thing we get to do as Sam the Snowman takes us on this momentous adventure is take care of a newborn Rudolph. It was fairly easy meeting his demands as most of the time he just wanted to be pet. A lot. A lot of petting. But who doesn't want to pet a reindeer? And just look at him! He's so cute and so angular! He looks just like the original clay model. There were times that he demanded a cobweb, but no matter what I did, I just couldn't appease him. I tried everything, assuming I maybe had to remove the cobweb off to the side, but it didn't budge. But clearly that's my fault, and I hope that Rudolph forgives my incompetence. I am but a pawn in his reindeer games. After departing from that riveting mission, our next objective is to hunt down matching pairs of objects so that the elves can sort them for all of the good little boys and girls. I had a lot of difficulties with this one. It was super challenging, with many of the toys being in places that I never would have expected. I managed to pull through this masterpiece of a puzzle, and as a reward, they allowed me to decorate their workshop, which I personally thought was a lot of pressure. After thinking super hard on where each object should go, I showed everyone my skills, and they were pleased with how I had Christmasified the building. I was beaming with pride. They were so impressed with my decorating that they took me to the toy building room, where I was given the chance to build my own toy. I was practically sweating as they handed me the train blueprint, but despite the eyes watching my every move, I made not a single mistake and impressed them all with the well-built toy train I had forged with my own two disgusting human hands. But it didn't stop there, because then they handed me some paint and told me that they trusted me enough to actually paint my creation as well. They gave me so many colors to choose from, and let me paint it however I wanted. It was just a coincidence that their orders to paint it red and gray in specific areas matched up with my artistic creativity. 
After all of that hard work, we get an update on what Rudolph is doing before Boss Elf decides he wants to test my memory skills by getting me to repeat the pattern. And just like the matching game before it, this memory game was pretty hard. The later level made you remember four colors. My tiny human brain couldn't possibly keep up with the superior elf one. But through sheer determination, I managed to impress the boss elf and he let me continue on my journey. Before continuing on though, I take a quick break in this super fun side game that's reminiscent of Lightbright, but instead of worrying about what to make, it gives you specific guidelines so you don't have to worry about being creative. It's also totally not as tedious as Lightbright, and instead has you pick each color and place it without any sort of dragging, so you have to keep going back and forth to choose a color. Much like the real Lightbright, but so much better, because you don't have to see what it looks like after it's done, and that always sucked about Lightbright. After our quick break, we rejoin Sam and he has us get to work on gathering all of the toys into Santa's bag by sliding it back and forth between the conveyor belt. With my quick speed, I manage to collect them all with little trouble, but for younger players, I can see this putting up quite the challenge. At this point, I've decided this game is incredibly well balanced and has both new and veteran players in mind. We meet up with Rudolph as he partakes in the reindeer games, where we encourage him to come first in the race and another one right after it where he must get the highest amount of presents delivered. I almost cried with joy when Rudolph came in first place and racked up an impressive 50 presents delivered. The pride I felt was one of the best rewards I could have ever asked for. As a celebration, I got to paint a wonderful picture of Clarice and Rudolph that was so different from the train I had painted earlier. This expression of creativity and love truly shined through and was for sure one of my favorite moments of this story. Afterwards, we get to make a snowman, and the precise rolling I had to do to make the perfect snowman was quite the refreshing break after such a whirlwind of emotions that the reindeer games gave me. When we meet up with Yukon, he tasks us with finding gold, which really showed off the amazing open world this game offers every player. Trudging through the snow and freezing water to get the treasures hidden away really filled me with a sense of helplessness that I had never experienced in a game before. We move on to a crossword minigame, which was super nice. I hadn't come across any minigame before this moment, so getting a cute little break like this was pretty cool. It was also pretty challenging as all of the words were so well hidden. When the crossword is completed, we have to help Yukon beat his dogs to the sleigh, but right at the end, one of the dogs sped ahead, so I was met with my first loss. But then I remember that in the original movie, the loss was supposed to happen, so I was really glad that I got to experience this loss firsthand instead of just having to read about it. This next part was fantastic. We get to decorate, similar to the house decorating from earlier, which meant remembering my skills. It was a really nice callback and helped me remember how far I had come. Truly a great moment and made me realize that this might be one of the greatest games ever. And the fun doesn't stop there, because after a long journey, we get to color with total freedom. I think mine really shows my true feelings and I hope it resonates with you as strongly as it did with me. And with that, we're caught up in another race, hoping to reach the king before he leaves for a long time, but through sheer determination we reach the castle in time. And as a reward, we get to put together an extremely complicated but fun jigsaw puzzle. After a bit more storytelling, we meet up with the abominable snowman, who we must tickle before he eats Claris. After our successful tickling, we get to play my favorite game again, and this time there's more spots to fill out one by one. So awesome and completely unexpected. After that totally not unnecessary light bright game, we are met with heart pumping action as we help Yukon break off snow from above the monster to trap him. Yukon chases off the monster, sacrificing himself in the process. Then we head home and give Hermie a dentist's office that we must decorate to suit all of his needs. Hermie is super picky, so you have to be extremely careful where you play stuff, but I had gotten to know him throughout the journey, so I was able to figure out just where everything needed to be to appease him. In a surprising plot twist, we get thrust into dentistry and have to help elves clean their teeth. And it certainly doesn't take forever and make me want to die at all. Super riveting stuff, and the teeth rendering is so realistic, I didn't get creeped out at all. The story doesn't stop there like I was thinking it did though. We have to match up these weather cards to see just what the weather is going to be like before we play some sending off music just for Santa and the reindeer. But oh snap, Santa hasn't gotten dressed yet. That's okay though, because in this super original game, we have to match the clothes together to have Santa put them on. The last game is this super difficult connect the dots type game, and I got lost quite a few times while doing it, but I managed to get it looking just how they wanted. To sound off such an incredible gaming experience, they gave us an unskippable instrumental of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that we definitely haven't heard play over and over throughout the game with no other music in between. And just like that, the game was over. 
Now, there are three other stories, but the first one was so amazing that I couldn't possibly experience such magnificent storytelling again so soon. I would be spoiled rotten with such unique and interesting gameplay. Just from the first story alone, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is the pinnacle of modern gaming, and I think everyone should experience this masterpiece firsthand just to really understand what gaming should be. Wow, that game was awful! Please just watch the movie. It's a classic. It's so good. This piece of trash doesn't do it any favors.